If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. Uh, no, Gil. Charles. Gil. Gil. You, you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. You, oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> but if you see somebody, a black person with a Donald Trump uh, I'm going to punch mug, him right in the punch eye. punch him in the face. <laughs> I, 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 Gail, I promise you. <laughs> I would bail you out. I would bail you out. You're not going to be my first call. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Now, you know, it's so funny because before I took this show, before we agreed, because Charles and I, we have to say this, neither one of us were looking for another job. And CNN called and they had this great idea, you and I together, which I thought was really fun. And people said, aren't you worried about things Charles would say? And I said to you, you're a grown ass man. You say exactly what you think and you take responsibility for everything you say. Yes. And so it's not like you just willy nilly say stuff for clickbait, right? I always, know, I always know the response. And uh, I always know how much gasoline I'm putting on the fire. Okay. Of course. So in that vein, that clip that you, you all just see, that you all just saw has been seen millions of times. And there have been quite a few articles written about it. And that's before we even get to the social media comments, which look a lot like this gentleman. He's very large. He's wearing a mugshot. Or, he's wearing a mugshot of the T-shirt or photoshops of large men wearing the T-shirt that say, I hear Charles Barkley's looking for me. They all think that you are ready to run around punching people who vote for Donald Trump. Now, I know when you say that, that was just you making a point. That's not something you would literally do going around attacking people, right? Well, let me say, is this my camera right there? I want to make sure Uh-oh. people can hear me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number one, obviously, I'm not going gonna go around punching random strangers in the <laughs> face, first and foremost. Secondly, people can vote for who they want, want to. to. Yes. People can vote for who they want to. The point I was trying to make. There you go. No, the point I was making. I wasn't yes. trying to make it. Okay. When Donald Trump compares his plight with that of the black person, yes. that is what I had a problem with. Mm-hmm. Now I do want to say this. I want to make it perfectly clear. If you're wearing a black, if you're wearing a black, if you're a black person and you're wearing a Donald Trump mugshot, you are a freaking idiot. And I'm only saying freaking idiot because they won't let me say what I really want to say. But you can figure it out. It starts with an F. Mm -hmm. But you are. Listen, people can vote for who they want Want to. to. But for him to compare his plight with that other uh, African, uh, I don't even like that term, the black people in America is asinine and stupid. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you guys can put on those two short, two small T-shirts. Uh, like y'all got them on. Get a big size if you're going to wear it. Don't put on a medium and act like you got muscles. <laughs> but you, they, that is so, it just, that, that bothered that me. That irritates that, me. No, it didn't, it, no, it bothered me mm-hmm. because for him to compare uh, a white billionaire yes. who is in trouble because of stuff he did. He did, yes. Not because of stuff, like black people get in trouble with stuff that happened that hundreds of times. That they not, did not didn't do. deserve to do. Yes. But for him to compare do. that to black people's plight, mm-hmm. uh, that's just stupid on their part. 